When we discuss with Christians, mm. I mean, I, I don't know in Hertfordshire if you come in contact with many Muslims. I'm sure there's some Muslims there. Yeah, I've got friends who are Muslims, okay. to be fair. I've got very good friends. So basically, there's generally four things which we, we talk about. Mm. We're going to talk about the Trinity, because mm. obviously as Muslims, we don't want to accept the Trinity. Yeah. Why not? Why not? Can I I'll come to it. <laughs> then we always discuss the nature of Jesus. Yeah. Because we believe Jesus is the messenger mm -hmm. sent from the lost sheep of Israel. We don't believe he's God. We don't believe in the hypostatic union. Yeah. Fully God and fully man. And you can explain why to me, right? Uh, yes. <laughs> and uh, not necessarily, but... Cause, and then the, the third one, we don't believe that um, an innocent person would bear our iniquities, our sins. Mm. We believe everyone is responsible for themselves before God. And in the fourth issue, we generally discuss... Big task, what a heavy load to be responsible for the almighty, pure No, God. well, I'll come to it. And then the <laughs> yeah. last thing we discuss is usually basis of, of the, the authenticity of the Bible compared to the Qur'an. Okay. But now we're in the, the third subject. Mm. Here, it's not, it's not the burden or the uh, responsibility on us, like, it's the vastness of God's mercy. So when we say that, for example, obviously all of us commit sins, no, no, one, no one differs on this. We all commit sins. But as Muslims, we understand, because God is the most merciful, the most kind, the all-forgiving, that if a person turns to Him sincerely, repenting, they're regretting what they've done and they ask, oh my Lord, mm. oh most merciful, oh most kind, forgive me. Yeah. We believe that he will forgive us. Yeah. Without the necessity of an innocent person bearing our sin. Yeah, but that's the thing, we, in ourselves, like we're so sinful, we might say, God forgive me today, yeah. by tomorrow we're sinning again. We haven't got it in ourselves uh -huh. to, to, to stay sinless. It uh -huh. takes a pure divine uh, being to help us stay sinless, you know? And that's what Jesus did, and he was spotless, blameless. So he, blameless. Jesus, Jesus made you stay sinless, or he took your sin? He took the sin, but through that, through accepting the Holy Spirit yeah. in us, he gives us the, the, the ability to resist sin, you know, yeah. and he justifies, it's the justification that comes through. So you're Jesus. saying, so when a person becomes Christian, mm. they don't commit sins anymore? I'm not saying that, but they, they, they have, they, they are seen as sinless before God, so God justifies them. And through the Holy Spirit, he signed what we call sanctification, where he helps us to resist sin and gives us that power to overcome sin. I understand. So you're saying that, because obviously any any faith in terms of believing in there's accountability, the hereafter, that God is always watching us, this will help a person commit, uh, abstain from sin. This, this will help a person abstain from sin. But I'm just trying to Are you able to abstain from, from, from sin? No, because we're human beings. But, <laughs> but, but no, I, what I'm yeah. trying to understand, because I'm not sure if you're saying that Jesus will bear your sins from the past, present, and future. Or, Absolutely. Or, or, yeah. or are you saying that once you accept Jesus, now you no longer uh, commit sins? I'm not saying that you no longer commit sins, okay. but he. Okay. Over he, time, he starts to, to purify. He gives you that ability to resist sin, sins. So uh, things that you used to do and you you know you couldn't help yourself but yeah. do it. He gives you that ability to to you know to resist those sins and gives you that uh, power to to stay away from them. Okay. That's by the power of the Holy Spirit. But you mentioned something interesting about the the Trinity that you don't believe that uh, it's um it's it's a reality. And yes, the Trinity is not spoken. The, the, the word Trinity yeah. is not used. But in the beginning, God says that we, we, out, we created, yeah. like they, we spoke. So who's this we? Who was this we that existed in the beginning, you know, uh, before creation? And he it, had to, it had to be someone who was equal, you know, to God, you know? So it had to be someone who was equal to God. And we see in the, you know, in the, the, the no, scriptures so, so that... The thing is, when you say, when you say we, mm. in Arabic, Mm. Which obviously is a sister I language. I don't know Arabic. You don't so, know Arabic. Yeah. I, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> because you're quoting something which is in Hebrew. Right. Obviously, but, you're using the English, but you said that yeah. we are going to create. Mm -hmm. see, in the, our own image. Yes. Okay. <laughs> but see, when you have we, and when you have this, uh, plura, uh, this plural mm -hmm. in, Ara in Arabic, in Hebrew, mm -hmm. in Aramaic, in, he in uh, Semitic languages, mm -hmm. you can have the we of uh, plural, multiple yep, people, yep. but also you can have the we of greatness. I, I 
don't yeah, I don't know if I, I agree with that one. Uh -huh. I think it's pretty, you know, it's pretty clear that it's not speaking of, you know, I creative in my own image, uh -huh. it's our image. So why was that language used it's, when you know there's the equivalent of the singular it's, in, it's, in, in it's the language? It's clear. Yeah. It's clear for you mm. looking as a Christian, mm. looking back at the Old Testament. Mm. Reading into the Old Testament your beliefs. Right. Okay. Yeah. So I don't get your point, but yeah. I'm saying, I'm saying that, <laughs> that you see things in the Old Testament mm. as a Christian, which without the belief as a Christian, mm. people wouldn't believe, people, would, people didn't recognize that they didn't know. Right. Okay. Yeah, yeah I'm not sure. I'm like, if, if, I, if, I give an, if I give an example, I know we're, see the problem is because we have so many uh, things to discuss. Yeah, yeah, you've listed quite a few that, and I want to, I want to go like, If I give you an example, in, yeah. in the book of Matthew. Yeah. Chapter 2, that was thing you mentioned. Yeah, go verse go 15. Yeah. Whoever, whoever wrote it, because we don't, we don't know that Matthew wrote it. And we don't know who Matthew is either. But anyway. <laughs> he was a tax collector, but yeah. Go on, it, go ahead. He, he, <laughs> quote, he quotes the Old Testament. He says that out of Egypt I will call my son. Okay. This is, you know, uh, this is only in the book of Matthew where Jesus, he has, he, as a baby, he has to be taken to Egypt because Herod wants to kill all of the Israelite children, etc. So he's taken to Egypt, which is only mentioned in Matthew. And when he comes out, Matthew quotes it from the Old Testament in order to fulfill what has been written in the Old Testament. Out of Egypt, I will call my son. Okay. When you go back to the Old Testament, Hosea uh, chapter 11, verse 1, the, the author here is attributing it to God, that God is saying that out of Egypt I called my son Israel. And then they began to worship idols to this effect. They began to offer devotion to Baal. So Hosea is talking about the children of Israel when they were under Pharaoh in Egypt that God took them out. Matthew has taken this verse and he's applying it to something other than the, what it was intended for. So what I mean to say is people, they, the authors of the Old Testament, uh, the New Testament, they use the Old Testament and also... Christ Jesus himself used the Old Testament, quoted the Old Testament Acor many, according, many to the, according to the authors of the New Testament. <laughs> but the Christians, they read things into the Old uh, Testament or from the Old Testament, which are... You couldn't see it without being a Christian first, if, if you see what I mean. I, I get, I get where you're coming from. I get your yeah. point. I get your point. Not, I don't necessarily you don't necessarily agree. agree. Yeah. yeah. But another, just to um, before I, I, I go, just another point you raised yeah. that Jesus is not um, God, fully man say, and fully God. Yeah. Fully man and fully God. But Jesus Himself claimed to 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 be God. I mean, that was the very reason why He was killed. You know. Where did He claim to be God? In several scriptures. I mean, okay, several good. scriptures. Matthew, which you okay. mentioned previously, uh, throughout the, the, the Gospels, actually. Can you give me a clear example? Yes, I can give you a clear example. So we've got Matthew. Hello, how are you? Hello, how are you? Can yeah. I talk while you're looking? Yeah, yeah, go for it. So, go for so, it. so what happens is, when we have these conversations, mm. obviously, so far, we've opened a few doors, yeah, yeah. but we haven't been able to close any of them yet. Yeah. So that's why sometimes it's better to try and stick to one subject. But <laughs> you did raise but, a few, a but, few points. No, no, no. <laughs> I just wanted to mention that you mentioned the, one of the points which we usually discuss with Christians. Yeah, yeah. But no problem. Yeah. Anyway, go ahead, go ahead. So, I'm a, a, so, Alex, Islam is very clear. God is one. He has no partners, no equals. He created mankind to worship him alone mm. and for this purpose he sent messengers and books. Mm. Abraham, Noah, Moses, and Jesus. We believe they all came with the same message. And then the last messenger, the prophet Muhammad, peace be upon all of them, also came with the same message. Not a new religion, not a new way, but submit yourself to one God. Yeah. And this belief that Jesus is God or God is a trinity, according to the Quran, it's complete uh, yeah. disbelief. But Jesus was killed because he claimed, like, uh -huh. I mean, they, they, it caused uproar, you know, when uh -huh. he said, you know, I am God. Like, he, this is, he didn't this say, I am God. That's the problem. 
He did. He absolutely did. He said, I, he said before, I I, before Abraham, I am. I am. And, and they, what were, happened? they were ready to, they were ready to kill they him. They were ready right to stone him. Exactly. Because they believed it was blasphemy. Exactly. He and was, what did Jesus say? And, and, and what did Jesus say to them? He was, he was like, what, what you say, and I, I think in other areas where they asked for, him, for are what, you saying for, that for you what, are the Father? For what deed do you kill me for? Yeah. Yeah. And, and, then, and then he, he quoted, agreed. He said, yes. And he quoted Psalms. According to John. He quoted Psalms and he said, it is written that you are God's. Absolutely, but what I'm saying is you, that you understand he, the point. He, sorry, you're using this this statement, mm. which is attributed. Mm. John is very problematic. The gospel according to John, <laughs> because it's the last so you one. Just discard it. No, it's the. I, I disregard. I, I disregard all of the Bible unless it's confirmed by Quran. The problem with John is the last gospel to be written. And it differs with the previous gospels in so many ways, and it mentions things which the previous Gospels don't say. Oh, there was so much to record. Not everything was yeah. recorded. Yeah, yeah no, so, so much. Not, but some of the say. most important things which mm. you would expect mm. people who claim to be eyewitnesses or hear to be eyewitnesses to say, like, God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son. This is like, this is like the... <laughs> if a Christian... No, oh, so not to say, right. if, a, if a Christian is going to get a T-shirt or get a, yeah, a, yeah, a yeah. sticker on the back of oh, it, it's going to be, it's gonna yeah, be yeah, John yeah. three sixteen. Mark, Matthew, Luke were not aware of it. I mean, but they, they recorded yeah. what Jesus said, what he taught, what yeah. he was accused of, yes. and what, you know... He, but not he such an important denied. statement. But, but okay. anyway, back, back okay. to the point. When, mm -hmm. when, according to the Gospel according to John, mm -hmm. said, when Jesus said, before Abraham I am, mm -hmm. and the Jews got up, picked up stones to, to, to stone him, to, take, to, to deal with him, to take care of him, <laughs> yeah. he, he, said, he said to them, but it is written that you are God's. Mm in the Old Testament, I believe Psalms 86. So they're, they're accusing him of, be, of saying that he's God. And his reply is, but your, your book, which would be from God, and according to the, the Christian version, Jesus would believe in, he's saying, but it's written that you're God's as well. Read it and, and think about it. Uh, yeah, I have to think about that. But the, the only you know, difference like is you put a small g. <laughs> But un unlike, unlike, say, the other prophets that you spoke about, Moses, yeah. all of the prophets, Mah yeah. in Muhammad even, yeah. um, they're, they're, they're all dead. They're all dead. But Jesus... Yeah, they're human the, beings. Huh? And exactly, Je and exactly. and they were human beings. And Jesus will come God back again. Could raise from the dead. So Jesus, he, he died, uh -huh. he was buried uh -huh. on the third day, which is why we celebrate It wasn't, the, it wasn't the third was, day. Ca count the days, it wasn't the third day. That's, that's beyond, I mean, that's beyond the point. But on it, the third day, he rose why, again. Why, why is it not beyond the point? It's not beyond the point. Because but you're, you're bringing, Jesus, you're but it's not, the point. But it's not the, it's not, it's not, wasn't the third day. What I'm trying to highlight yet. here yeah. is the fact that he rose again from according, the dead. According to the Bible. Unlike all the other prophets gone before him, they're all still in the grave. They're all still in the grave. Okay. But Jesus, uh, was, he died and was buried and rose again. Okay. You know? But and, and he's alive uh, today. He's alive today. No doubt. <laughs> Jesus will return. When he returns, he will also die. But the, but the fact, the fact. Where did you get that piece of information from? <laughs> uh, if you have time, I can show you from Quran oh, well, and from yeah. the Sunnah. No, it's been great talking but, to you. But even the fact that you say Jesus died. Mm. The God, the, the God I worship, I with. the God I worship, the God I believe in, the God that created us, the God that I'm going when I die I'm going to return back to Him, is the all living, and He never dies. But Jesus had to die. He had to take our sins, you know, because we can't. Me, I can't try God, to God, be better. God, to... God had to die. He had. Can you imagine? Can you imagine that sacrifice? No, I can't. That he loved us so much. I can't imagine. He loved us. I can't it's imagine beyond, that God dies. Thinking. But, but God he dies. came in the form of a man and uh -huh. died, took on our sins, uh -huh. died, was buried, but uh -huh. he didn't stay there, he rose again. Uh -huh. And now we have life. If we accept him into our hearts, uh -huh. we have life everlasting. No. Everlasting. But was, sorry, I didn't catch your name. It was so good to meet you. Yusuf. My name's Lithia. Lithia. It was so Very nice, nice to meet you. Thank you so much. You were so no problem. Fine, so lovely to speak to. No problem. Very nice to meet you. Uh -huh. <laughs> anyway, I would advise you, you can advise me, I advise you, look into Islam. Slowly, patiently. And I would advise you to, to speak to God, you know? You can have a personal relationship uh -huh. with you, with a living, living God who's alive and well. On, so I encourage you to, to on just... That, on that one point, I, I, know, I, I don't want to be the one who like, oh, I'm forcing the last word. <laughs> but I will say something, yeah. then you feel free to say whatever you want. Mm. This concept of having a personal relationship with God. Yeah. As Muslims, mm. we believe and we know that we 
call on God directly, we ask God directly. Do you have a personal relationship with God? Yes, of course. I've talked to him and he talks back to you. That's no, sort of relationship. no, 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 no. Let, let me finish. Yeah, that's let me because finish. I have a personal relationship let with him. I can hear, I hear. Let me finish. I know the let me finish. Of God. Let me finish. <laughs> this uh, concept mm. in the, the prelude to uh, the Gospel of John. Mm. Uh, in the beginning was the Word, the Word was with God, and the Word what became God, and later on the Word became flesh. This is a, look it up, don't, you don't have to accept it from me, but look it up. This is a Greek uh, philosoph, uh, philosophical, uh, how do you say, idea put forward. When they believed that God himself was so high, and so distant, and so uh, far from his creation, that something from him, the Logos, the Word, has to be an intermediary between man and God. Let me finish, yep. let me finish, let me, Sorry, let me finish, let me finish. finish. <laughs> so the whole idea of the Trinity is because you can't have a direct relation with God. Therefore, something from God, which you say is the second person in the Trinity, the Son, has to come down, has to create the universe, has to um, die for you, has to intercede for you, because this uh, foundation is built on distance from God. The God is so far beyond human beings that you can't have a relationship with It wasn't with always that way. Can I come and no. in, interject now? No, it wasn't brother. always that way because you had Adam and Eve. They uh -huh. had a relationship with God. You know, they walked yeah. with God in the uh -huh. garden. But obviously, sin came in uh -huh. and that was severed. You know, we were separated from God uh -huh. and we couldn't, you know, in our, you know, even with the law and everything else, we uh -huh. couldn't, you know, form that relationship back with uh -huh. God. So Jesus came to literally bridge that gap. He died. Yeah, because you couldn't have a relationship with and God. And he rose again so that yeah. now we can yeah. have a relationship with God. So that's, those are my last few words. No thank problem. You so much, Lithia, Lithia, thank you very much for your time. All I the best. Really appreciate no it. problem. Thank you very much. All the best. Take care. Thank you. Bye bye.